Good morning, everybody. I'm going to do a uh, short video with Michael Cobb of ECI Development. And uh, we'll be doing two videos. Uh, one is just talking about Campacifica, and the other one will be about HOA. But we're going to do this as two separate videos. Uh, so just hold on, and you will be seeing the first one, which will be about Grand Pacifica Resort and his view, uh, how he came about to develop this area. Good morning, everybody. Guess what? We're here in Grand Pacifica. Some of you might know the guy sitting right next to me. Uh, I think his name is Michael Cobb. Uh, and we're just sitting here having some coffee, shooting the breeze, as we say once in a while. And we decided to just go live and have you listen in to what we're talking about. Well, so good morning. Mike. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Yeah, good morning, Paul. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. We're, and we got a cup of coffee. And we do have our coffee yeah. this morning yeah. uh, here by the beach. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day today. It's a gorgeous yeah. day. So. Yeah. And thanks for coming out. Yeah. It's always nice to see you and Thank you. catch up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's been a while. So we were just talking a little bit about uh, different things about real estate, Gun Pacifica itself, and we're seeing a lot more building going on. We are. You know, with a, a condominium right next to us. Correct. Uh, and then some uh, investment townhomes. Correct. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's positive, you know, and, yeah. and uh, which I like. And of course, you as a as a developer like that also. So, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what's going on here in Campasitica? Well, sure. Um, you know, we, uh, we we had our property owner meeting here yesterday, yes, so we have yeah. about I don't know 45, 50 property owners on site for the meeting, and and uh, just activities, fun, dinner, cocktail parties. Thanks, some folks are going to go play golf yeah. this morning or something. Um, but it's nice because you know we, we've been at this now since 2004 our very first homes started construction in 2004 the first condominiums right. the pool here behind us uh we finished all of this in 2006 and then since then what's that 13 14 mm -hmm. years yeah mm -hmm. 14 14 years um you know and and what was once a cattle pasture by the beach i mean we when i first came here in 1999 and looked at the property uh we traveled down a horrible dirt road there was no electricity uh, you know, we ran electric uh, three-phase power all the way back to the substation, yeah. 26 kilometers away. I mean, we put that stuff in. We've improved the road. The government is now uh, final, finally paving the last section of the road. So, uh, you know, these these are some big, awesome things. And in and, and the meeting yesterday, people were so excited because now you can actually drive the whole way. Or in the, like two months from now, when, the, when they get that last kilometer finished, you'll be able to drive on paved road the whole way from Managua to Grand Pacifica. And 20 years ago, that was a pipe dream. Like, like, is that really going to happen? And, and nobody knew. Um, but you know, we, we've we've changed a, a cattle pasture, uh, you know, by the ocean to what we call a village by the mm -hmm. sea. Yeah. Uh, we've got a, just under 100 uh, homes and condos here now. I think it's uh, 92 uh, addresses, and you know, we have full-time residents. We have a lot of snowbirds in and yeah. out this, yeah, yeah. this time yeah. of year. People yeah. coming in and. Um, you know, and, and, and yesterday's meeting, uh, and even actually the, 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 the cocktail parties and then a, an impromptu birthday party a couple nights ago, really give me the sense that this has turned into a community. It has become a, a community mm -hmm. yeah. and a family, yeah. uh, which is, you know, which is truly heartwarming to me as, as the developer, because we, we envisioned this stuff 20 years ago. We think, oh, well, here's here's a piece of dirt. I mean, there was nothing here, right? Yeah, some yeah, cattle, yeah. Right? right? So here's a piece of dirt with some cows walking around on it. Um, and now it's a community. Now it, it's really evolved mm -hmm. and become, and that that's pretty special, Paul. Yeah, no, 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 special. I agree, I agree. And especially, uh, you know, we came here four years ago. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we're, you had that meeting also. And we we, did. Uh, we had that big barbecue out there. That's right. And that road was, oh, I oh, tell you, I was oh. already going, God darn it. <laughs> you know, you had to go like 10K. You know, maybe. Re yeah, maybe. <laughs> and you had to be careful with the ruts. And now you can speed at 50, 60, and you yeah. can really come yeah. until the last... Uh, hurdle there yeah, last kilometer but or so. it truly yeah. truly is a difference and um you know for me it was a joy and now it yeah. takes me only an hour and a half versus two hours yeah. to come here right so there's a right. big big saving and you're in time. granada I mean, and i and we're in granada, granada so it makes it yeah. a big uh, difference so uh, that's yeah. great yes. um 
So you're leaving after this, you're going to go to Belize? No, I'm going home. Oh, you're going home. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I, home. I thought you were going to keep on working and go to Belize. So. I've been on the road. This, I'm on, yeah. Today, is I'm on the road two weeks. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah you got to go home. home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, home. go see the family. Yeah, but yeah. It's funny, but but later this week, so I'm going up to New York City. i got to go to Long Island and have a meeting about uh, uh, another project here in Nicaragua that I'm involved with. Then I'm flying off to... Houston on Friday to speak to the Belize American Chamber of Commerce. So, so yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm so, home so for a couple of days, yeah, and then I'm back on the road again. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's all part of the the business that we're in, right? It, it is. It's a constant. Uh, you know, people say, "When you take off?" Well, we take off when we go to bed. Yeah, pretty you know? much. Yeah. But you know, I mean, if you love what you do, you don't work very much. No. And I have to yeah. say, I don't work very often because yeah. you know I love what I do. It's it's. And, and you and I both do a lot of the spreading the good news. Right. I mean, both of us have to. in the real estate yeah. world, yeah. you know, talking to real yeah. estate associations, yeah. and, and 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 I just want to give you a big pat on the back. I'll do it for real. Oh, thanks for the coffee. Um, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> no, but for what you're doing with the CIPS courses and the other uh, types of engagement that you're offering mm -hmm. the real estate associations around the United States, Canada, Europe too. Didn't you go to Europe? I think and we went to Europe. Yes, went to Europe. Yeah, that's right. Right. And so getting this idea of how realtors can be engaged globally right. from their home. Like, I mean, look, we all like to go places and do things, but we don't have to. We can right. be a realtor in, in you know, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and, and actually engage a global business yeah, yeah. right from our home right, offices. Right. And, and, and you do a lot of, you know, talking about that, how that can happen, you know, as do I, right? right. And, and that's important. That's really important, Paul. Thank well, you. I think, I, well, no, I appreciate it, Mike. But I think yeah. what is also important is where we need to show more about our country. So, Absolutely. you know, this is your investment, and I know you're, you're, you're in, in very various countries. But for, for me, why I do these things, as we talked before, is we need to promote more about Nicaragua and show sure. the, the, the goodwill that people have, yeah. how nice uh, quality of life that we have here. Yes. And, you know, uh, like a lot of people ask me, how much can you live in uh, Nicaragua? Well, what do you want? You know, <laughs> yeah, that I mean, is a tough that's question. That's the first one. Where do you want to live? I mean, yeah. if you come live here, you probably have to set aside 2000 a month. Easy for two people. You know what? But in, that, that's a good number. But that, that, let me just hold, yeah. yeah. Like if you lived here and you, well, I'm sorry, if you own your home here, right. like so you come down here and you, right. let's say you buy one of the small casitas for $125,000, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, Which, mm -hmm. I mean, a two bedroom, two bath casita yeah, in yeah. a beach and golf community for $125,000 is a pretty a fair, fair yeah, yeah. price, right? Yeah. So you buy buy one of those, you own it. Yeah, if you have, if you have, you're going to need 1500 to have a decent life. Right. 2000 puts you in a very, very comfortable life here. Well, we got to yeah. remember, we got to pay an HOA. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, let's yeah. be honest about sure. it. Sure. And, yep. uh, and so for us, you know, we don't pay the HOA since right. we live in uh, outside of Granada. But and you have a Cuidador. So I, you, I got the Cuidador. I know. got uh, everything else, which is a compensation, right? Exactly. Yeah. So uh, why don't we stop this one and then we'll go okay. to another one for a second because I want to talk about HOA. Fine. Okay. And as always, if you enjoy these type of videos, please be so kind to subscribe and hit the notification so that as we place more videos on our YouTube channel, you will be notified.